Good morning. Um, I'm Erin, and I will be subbing Pilates Fusion for Melanie today. Um, so we will keep a very Pilates based program today. We'll be focusing on core strength and stretching, and we'll be moving pretty slowly, um, but working really deep into the muscles. So all you're going to see today is a mat if you are not working out on a soft surface. So just a little bit something to add some padding underneath your body, and we'll get started in about one minute. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So everybody come on back to your mat. And we're just gonna do a nice warm up to get the body loosened up and ready to move. So lie on down, bring your heels in toward your hips. Pull your belly button down toward the floor, creating a small pelvic tilt. Shoulders down from ears, chin tucked a little bit. And just bring your hands above your shoulders, palms facing each other. We're going to start warming up the upper body. So all we're going to do is reach the fingertips toward the ceiling and then slide the shoulder blades together, slightly lifting back off the floor and reach, curve through the shoulder blades, reach the fingertips to the ceiling and then pull the shoulder blades in, trying to touch them toward your spine. Reach. So all we're doing here is warming up through the shoulders and try to touch the shoulder blades together. We do that two more times, reach. And pull together. Now each time you reach, try to pull the shoulder blades apart even further, reaching the fingertips closer to the ceiling. And now this time, hug your shoulder blades around your ribs, squeeze as tight as you can and bring back. Shoulders down from ears, chin slightly tucked. Belly button pulled in. We're going to bring the hands overhead, biceps come next to ears, and reach them down toward your hips. Again, just warming up through the shoulder blades, reach the arms overhead. Now, as you reach, you're going to brace the stomach, brace your abdominals, and keep that low back pressed toward the mat, so no arching up. Reach long, reach for the hips. Two more. Abdominals are braced, holding the trunk of the body still as we reach the arms in both directions. Last one. Now this time as we reach the arms toward the hips, we're gonna crunch up, so reach, pull shoulder blades up off the floor, hold. Three, two, one, roll down and extend the arms. Reach, pull shoulder blades up off the floor, hold. Three, two, one, and lower down. So we've moved from the shoulders and now we're warming up the upper abdominals. And notice that I'm making it a smooth movement. We're not jerking up. Low down. Two more. Try to reach your fingertips past your chin, your shins. Keep your chin tucked toward your chest. Ivies between the knees. Lower down slowly. We've got one more. Reach. Hold. Shoulders down from ears. Pull the belly button in. Lift a little bit higher. Reach a little bit longer. And roll down. Good job. So we worked the shoulders, upper abdominals. Let's go to the lower abdominals. So bring your hands by your sides, palms up, or if you need a little bit more stability through your torso, arms out to a T. We're gonna go ahead and bring both legs up into tabletop. Make sure you're pressing the low back toward the floor. Knees are in line with hips and shins are parallel to the ceiling. And we're just gonna march our feet nice and gentle. So front foot toe taps to the floor. Bring it up, back foot, bring it up. Now again, as we move, we're keeping the trunk of the body still. Hips are still on the floor. We're bracing the lower abdominals to control the legs and keep the low back pressed toward the mat. 
two more each side. Slow in control. And as you tap the toe down, you should hear no noise. All right, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the lower abdominals. You can either keep your knees bent or extend them to 45. Now, if you have your knees bent, you're going to keep them over your hips just like we had them. If you have your legs extended, bring them up to the ceiling. We're going to drop down to 45. Pull back up. Drop to 45. Pull back up. After your legs are extended, keep going there. If your knees are bent, you're just tapping both toes down at the same time and up. But guess what? Both legs, you're not going to be able to touch the floor with your toes. So as soon as you feel, I mean, you can touch the floor, but your low back is going to start coming up if you go all the way down. So as soon as you start to feel your low back tightening a little bit, stop. Maybe a small movement, focusing all of the work into those lower abdominals. Let's do two more. Last one, nice and slow, control, flex the quads, use the hip flexors, lower abdominals, pull the legs up. Now, bring the legs out to a V. So feet start over hips, then open wide. Stretch them long, point the toes, zip them back together. Out, and in. Now we're warming up through the hips. Using that outer hip muscles to pull the legs wide under control, nice and slow. And then using the inner hip muscles to zip the legs back together. We've got one more. Hold this one out, point the toes, circle your ankles. So warming up through the ankles now, Drawing tiny circles with the toes, three, Two, one, switch directions. Five, four, three, two, one. Point the toes, zip the legs back together, lower the legs down. Good job. All right, so we're nice and warmed up. We're gonna go right into our 100s. So 100s, you have a choice which level you want to work at. Level one, you're going to either bring your knees above your hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. Level two, Legs straight up to the ceiling. You're gonna pull the heels together, toes out, squeeze the legs together. Or level three, keep the legs in the same position, but drop them down to 45. Choose where you wanna be. 100 crunches, pull shoulder blades up off the floor, reach the arms long, let's go. One. That's 10. 20. Inhale. Exhale, 30, 40, inhale, exhale, 50, 60, remember your options, 70, 80, 90, pull the shoulder blades off a little higher, come on. And done. Grab your head the knees, roll the shoulder blades down. Hug the knees into your chest. Tuck the hips, pull them up a little bit off the floor. And then extend the arms and legs, reach long, stretch long. Fingertips to the very tips of your toes, make your body as long as you can. If you just woke up in the morning, Hug the knees in. We're going to extend one more time. So really stretch through the low back. You can roll around a little bit. Release through the back of the hips. And extend nice and long. Stretch as long as you can. All right, back to work. Grab behind your knees and roll up. We're going to come to a seated position. So here, we're going to bring our feet hip distance apart. Flatten the feet out on the floor. Press your heels into the floor. And as you press the heels into the floor, you're going to feel that strength go up the legs and into your glutes. 
Sit up nice and tall. We're going to go into some partial roll downs. Extend the arms long. Arch through your back. We're just going to roll down until we get to that point where it's a little difficult. So it should be about 45 degrees. Pull. Three, two, one. And up, pressing your heels into the floor. Nice long spine. Arch. Roll down halfway. Right, so when you get to that point where it's difficult, hold, three, two, one, and roll up slowly. Nice long back. Three more just like that. Let me get a tiny bit lower each time. Shoulders down, arch, roll halfway down. Shoulders down from your ears, three, two, one, pull the belly button in, Pull up. Two more. Arch. Keep the shoulders down. Fingers long. Three, two, one. Drag your heels down. Squeeze the butt. Our last one. We're going to hold it down and move the arms. Ready? Roll down. We're halfway. Hold the shoulder blades down. Bring the arms overhead. And then reach. Overhead, reach. Three more. Hold the body still as you move. Push the heels down for stability. Two more. Last one. Roll up. Hold. Lengthen through the spine. Shoulders down. One more. This time we're going to move the legs. Roll halfway. Pull the arms where they are. Extend the legs, slide them in. Extend the legs, slide them in. Hold the trunk of your body still as you move the legs. We're only halfway down. If halfway down is too much, that's okay. You can do this, just tilt it back a little bit. Okay? Out, last one. Slide in, roll up or grab behind the knees. Pull the body up like that. We're going to do five more roll downs. This time, full roll downs. So, option one bring the legs into body stance. I'm sorry, not body stance. We're going to squeeze the legs together, squeeze your calves together, thighs, flex the feet, pull the legs, feet together. Sit up nice and straight, shoulders down from ears, extend the arms long. Now, somebody's behind you, pulling back through your midsection. Arch back, shoulders down. Roll the body down, vertebra by vertebrae, control and slow. Reach the arms overhead and stretch. Just enjoy the stretch for a minute. Now, as we work, squeezing the legs together is going to help us keep control over the abdominals. Bring your hands up over the shoulders. Now you have the option to come to your elbow to help you push up. Or if you can do so with just using your abdominals, you're going to reach the fingertips up to the ceiling. Pull shoulder blades up off the floor. Hold. Tuck your chin. And roll up. Reach for the toes. We're going to do exactly that four more times. Lift up. Arch through the back. Roll down. The roll down is super slow, super controlled. Each vertebrae touching separately. Go deep into the belly, reach long. All right, hands above shoulders. Tuck the chin, shoulder blades off the floor, and roll up. All right, two out of five done. Now, if you did this and you thought it was too easy, you can challenge yourself by bringing the feet hip distance apart so we no longer have that leg squeeze to help us. You can keep them squeezed together if you want. Choice is yours. All right, nice long spine. Arch through the back. Roll down slowly, slowly, slowly. Once you get to mid back, kind of where we stopped in the half roll downs, it's going to get really challenging. So you're just going to pull that belly in tighter and focus on slow, controlled movement. Bring to the ceiling, tuck chin, shoulder blades off the floor. And roll up. 
Now notice as we roll up, we're focusing on abdominal strength and control. So you won't see me throw my arms. The arms are just there to kind of guide the body. Shoulder legs down, back long, two more. Hold on slowly. So even though this is slow, it's a great exercise for the body because this slow controlled movement, reach long, fingertips up, shoulders up off the floor, tuck chin, and go. The slow controlled movement takes away the momentum and forces us to work those really deep abdominal muscles of the transverse abdominis. And it is that group of muscles, up, shoulders down, that really support the spine and just the whole structure of the body. This is our last one. Enjoy this stretch here. All right, fingertips up, tuck chin, shoulder blades off the floor, and roll up. And just feel a nice stretch. Breathe here for a second. Stretch through the back. Stretch through the hamstrings. You can't reach your toes, that's okay. Bring your hands to your shins. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, just focus on releasing the tension through the muscles. Okay, we're gonna go into a series of five. So come on down to the floor. Heels in short glutes. We're going to hug the right leg in and extend the left leg off the floor. So focus on keeping your hips still, no rocking forward and back. If you would like, you can pull the shoulder blades up off the floor for a little bit of an extra strength challenge and switch legs. And switch. And switch. So moving slowly. Lengthening through the leg, the longer the lever, the more stress you put on the core. One more each side. And done. Lower the shoulder blades down, bring the knees above the hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. We're gonna pull the shoulder blades up off the floor, reach the fingertips for the heels, and we're gonna extend arms and legs out to 45. And crunch back up. That's one, we've got four more. So as we crunch, shoulder blades come up off the floor, arms reach for the heels. As we extend, head and shoulders touch the floor, arms reach overhead. Two more. Legs extend long, toes point. Knees over hips. Last one, reach long. Good job. Shoulders down, extend the legs to the ceiling. Walk the hands up your right leg if you can. Reach for your calf, extend the left leg down. Shoulder blades up off the floor and switch. So we're just scissoring the legs here. So all of these moves, by lifting the shoulder blades up off the floor, we're working the upper abdominals. By moving the legs, we're working the lower abdominals and some of the leg muscles, teaching the core to work together. Last one. All right, bring the knees over hips. So if you're gonna bring your knees over the hips, shins parallel to the ceiling, you're gonna bring the arms out to a T to stabilize through the upper shoulder, upper body, or you can bring the legs up. We're gonna do a double leg drop. So down 45 degrees and lift up. So if your legs are extended, you're gonna keep going like this. And if your knees are bent, just like in the warm up, just drop so that your hips come to about 45 degrees and come back up. As soon as you feel your low back a little bit stressed, you're gonna stop the movement of the legs and pull them back up. We've got one more. And hold, good job. Bend the knees again, fingertips come to temples, 
We're gonna cross over the body, back shoulder comes forward to front hip. So cross and switch. Moving slowly now so that we can focus on keeping the hips still, no rocking back and forth, and then using our abdominal muscles to pull this shoulder blade, the shoulder, up and over to the opposite hip. Notice elbows stay wide, knees stay over hips. One more to the front, one more to the back, then we're gonna do five fast. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Pull the knees into the chest. So go forward five times. Circle to the back five times. Just relaxing the abdominals, releasing through the low back. Good job. Let's work our posterior chain a little bit. Bring your heels in close to your glutes. We're gonna go into the hip bridge. Heels pressed down, palms up next to your hips, shoulders down from your ears, and drive through your heels, lifting the hips up to the ceiling. Hold, three, two, one, and roll down slowly. Knees stay in line with hips, don't let them collapse in. We're squeezing through the butt, lifting the back of the body off the floor until you're balancing on the very tops of your shoulders. Focus on control. Focus on squeezing real tight here, lowering down. We have one more like this. Okay. Now push the hips up. We're going to lift the front knee over the hip, then extend the leg. Point your toe, flex your foot. Point. Flex. Three more. Point. Flex. Two. Keep your hips parallel. Keep them lifted. Good job. Bend the knee. Set the foot down. Now lift the back foot. Square your hips. Drive the heel down. Knee over hip. Extend the leg. Point the toe. Flex. And point. Three. Two, keep the hips lifted, drive the heel down. Last one, bend the leg, set the foot down, keep the hips up, pulse five times. Five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Cross the back leg, over the front leg, ankle just below the knee joint. We're gonna lift and lower five times here. Up. And down. So what we're doing here is putting all of the weight of the body on a single leg, training the muscles to work a little bit harder, but also training the glute muscles to work in conjunction with the hips and abdominals to keep the hips parallel to the ceiling as we move. Last one. Now switch legs. Front leg crosses over back, ankle just below the knee joint, push this knee wide and lift and lower. Now, the harder you drive that heel down as you lift, the tighter you're going to squeeze through the hamstring and the glute. Keep your hips level. Let's do one more. Lower down slowly, both feet on the floor, grab behind the knee, then let's roll up. Good job. We're gonna come into some seated twists. So bring your feet out in front of your body, hip width apart. So really be honest, a lot of us think our hips are out here. Really look at where your hip joint is and bring your feet just straight out from there. It's gonna be out just about your shoulder width. Flex your feet to the bottom of your shoes are showing. Lift up through your chest, lengthen through the spine, and really sit up on your sit bone. Reach the arms in front of your shoulders, 
We're going to squeeze the butt tight. Twist 45 degrees to corner. As you twist, make sure your feet don't shift. Make sure they stay parallel. Back to center. Relax your buns. Squeeze and twist 45. Relax. Squeeze. 45. Center. Relax. Squeeze. 45. Center. Relax. So you notice when I squeeze my butt, you can actually see my body lift a little bit higher off the floor. See if you can see that in yourself. We've got two more. Shoulders down from the ears, spine nice and long. Keep your feet parallel. Relax. Squeeze. So it's rather deceiving because it looks like a super easy move. Do that. But if you're actually doing this, you can feel that by squeezing the buns and lifting the body. Quick shake. We're working every muscle in the core. All right, bring the feet a little bit wider than your hips. Flex them. Adjust to your up on your sit bone. We're going to do the same thing, but our feet and legs are going to be wide. Our feet and arms are going to be wide. And we're going to add a bit of a stretch at the end, okay? So right now, everybody facing me, arms just wide of shoulders, feet just wide of hips, toes flex up, straighten through the spine, squeeze the butt, twist. Now reach, opposite hand toward opposite foot, and look under your back arm. As you're here, keep both hips on the floor, so no lifting that hip you're reaching away from. Come back to center, but is squeezed. Relax. Squeeze the butt, lift up, twist toward your foot. Reach, looking under your back arm, keeping your hips both straight, flat on the floor. Up, twist to center. Squeeze the butt. 45, reach, look under your back arm, lift up, center, relax, squeeze, twist, reach. Now listen, flexibility is going to differ for all of us. Up, center, relax, two more, squeeze. So if you can't reach your toe, that's okay. Come down as far as you can and just try to look under your armpit. That's all I ask. Up, center, relax, lengthen through the spine, squeeze the butt, reach. Center, last one. Lift up as high as you can by squeezing your butt as tight as you can. Reach, keep it squeezed as you're reaching, keep it squeezed. Up. So as you squeeze your rear end, can you feel the quads even squeezing? Squeeze as tight as you can. Squeeze them quite to keep this hip down. Up. Center. Good job. Let's come on into all fours. We're going to go into horse stance. We're going to work our hips a little bit. So hands are under shoulders. I'll come sideways so that you can see. Knees under hips. And flex your front foot, and we're just going to bring it up, knee in line with the hip, flat of your foot, pressing toward the ceiling, bring the knees down, and drive back up. So as we're here, we're moving slowly, we're keeping the hips still. Two more. Last one, hold your foot up. And we're gonna pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one. Tiny movement, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep the leg up, but pull the knee out. So fire hydrant. You can see in your stance Y, lower the knee down, and lift out to the front. Down and up. So our first move, we were working through the back of the hip and the glutes. Here, 
We're working through the side of the hip. Keep your hips level as you move. Hold this one up. Pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Knee down. Extend the same leg long. So it touches the floor. And cross it behind you. So we're crossing the leg. We're going to bring it up and over to a point of drawing a rainbow. And then touch just outside your front hip. Rainbow back up and over, keeping your hips still as you move, working through the back and the side of the hip at the same time. Slow controlled movement so that we can focus on bracing the core to keep the hips still. One more back, one more forward. Now bring the heel glute height, toe points long, Draw tiny circles with your leg. Extend the leg nice and long. Five more in this direction. Now reverse, just reverse the way that you're drawing the circles. Press the palms into the floor. Pull the belly button up, holding your hips still. Good job. Put the knee down. Let's switch legs. So flex your back foot. Press palms into the floor, readjust your shoulders, make sure your back is nice and straight. Belly button pulls up an inch toward the spine. Drive the heel toward the ceiling by squeezing your glute. In, down. Keep going. Up. In, down. Marianne, good job. Keep those hips still. You're doing great. Keep going. You got it. Three. Two. And hold it up and we're gonna pulse. So drive the heel toward the ceiling. 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep your hips still. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Bring the knee out to the side and bring the knees together. We're doing fire hydrant now, working through the side of the hip. Up and down. Three, two. And one, hold it up, pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep control, 3, 2, 1, knee down, extend the leg long, cross it over the bent knee, and bring it up and over in a rainbow shape, toe outside hip, bring it back, and out. I remember as we're moving, we're stabilizing the body by pressing the hands into the floor, bracing the core to keep the trunk still and hips buckled. Now your heel isn't going to go that high. If it goes any higher than your glute, it's just a tiny bit. We actually want to keep it level or just below the glute. And that's going to keep the muscles contracted, keep the back from arching too much, and it's going to keep control of our movement. All right, extend the leg, heel comes up hip height, tiny circles in one direction, 10, 9, 8, 7. Focus on keeping your hips still like you have a glass of full of water bouncing on your hip. Now change directions. Keep the body as still as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, nice job. We're gonna go ahead and cool down. So put your knees down. Push back into child's pose. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, let your chest fall close to the mat. Walk the fingertips a little bit further. We're gonna do that two more times. And as we're here, just focus on releasing through the back of your hips and your low back. Inhale. Exhale. Hips come closer to the heels. Arms reach a little further. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. Let's go ahead and flip onto our backs. Bring the front knee into your chest. Hug it in nice and close. And if you want a little bit better stretch, you can extend the back leg. So here, we're releasing through the back of the hips, releasing through the back. 
hamstrings. Inhale. Exhale, pull it a little bit closer. Okay. Extend the leg up. And if you only grab behind your hamstring, that's totally fine. You can grab behind your calf, go ahead and do that. Keep the leg straight, but the knee soft. Pull the leg in toward your chest. And if you want to stabilize through the hips a little bit more, you can bend this non-active leg. If you want a little bit more of a stretch, you can extend it. Good job. And cross it over to the inside of your calf. Push the leg out a little bit, but don't go so far that this back hip lifts up off the floor. We're just opening up through this leg, feeling a nice stretch through the inside thigh muscles. Again, if you want, you can lift this leg up and bend it in. Bring the leg back across the body, stretching through the IT band and the outer hip muscle. Brace the core, pull the leg back to center, pull it into the chest, and let's switch. Back leg comes in now. Now again, remember the whole time the choice is yours depending on your flexibility. If you want to keep this non-active leg bent or straight. Inhale. Pull the leg in a little bit closer. And what we want to focus on again is relaxing through the low back, through the front string. Extend the leg up, grab onto your hamstring or your calf. Never grab onto the joint, so don't grab your knee. Always the muscle. Inhale, and as you exhale, see if you can pull the leg a little bit closer. So each time we exhale, we're focusing on releasing tension. The body kind of fights the stretch. So in that exhale, you're showing it who's boss by forcing it to relax a little bit. Okay, all right, bring the leg wide. Remember, we're actively working the core to keep the hip down. Don't let it lift off the floor. Brace the core, bring the leg back to center, cross it over the body. Whew. Oh, I love this stretch. So this one you're gonna feel from your knee all the way down the outside of your leg into your hip. Inhale, bring the leg back to center. Hug it in. Bring the opposite knee in, hug it in. Grab behind the knees, roll up. Then we're gonna roll the shoulders back. Three, two, one, roll them forward. And guess what? That's it. We are done for today. Thank you so much for being here. Marianne, I gotta say, every class I do, I, sign you, I see you signed in. You're committed. Good job. All right, good to see you guys. Have a great day. Hey, we're opening, facility opening June, uh, July 6th, um, but classes will start on July 13th. So keep that in mind. All right, hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks, Erin, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.